How, Emma? Tell me, how are you doing this? Is any other company supporting you? Is your family involved? There is someone behind the scenes, but I can't reveal it just yet. Emma wanted to keep it a secret from everyone. The media, the entertainment companies, and Lisa. No one could imagine Emma was into a secret contractual marriage with the charming billionaire Eric Roberts, the king of entertainment. She had only one thing in mind. Nathan's distraught face when she crushes him. Emma let Lisa speculate while she left for a classy dinner at an upscale restaurant that evening. All the eyes were on gorgeous Emma as she made a splashing entry with her contractual husband, Eric. Hushed conversations and gasps followed their every step. Emma looked away and Eric pulled out his phone. You are trending at number one. Seems like a victory. Tell me, are you going to leave Global now? I can't let them off so easily. I have decided to get back into modeling. I'm going to use Nathan and his company Global and tear them down for what they did to me. This is your anger speaking. What if your feelings for your ex, Nathan, rekindle tomorrow? Emma loved Nathan with all her heart once, but Emma knew we never play with fire that once burned our hands. And there was no looking back when Nathan released the exclusive scoop to ruin Emma's career. And on top of that, not even once did Nathan call in to check on her. Emma has had enough. She was hell-bent on bringing Nathan down with Amber. She could see through his lies, and the love she had for him once upon a time was turned to ashes. I have made my decision, and I won't regret it. Good to hear that, because you made one more decision earlier, and it's time to stand by it. Eric was intrigued by his new wife, who was headstrong and a woman of dignity. Unlike other women, Emma had no intention to use Eric as a stepping stone to success. By the way, my assistant has booked a room for us here. Let's stay back. Emma's cheeks flushed red as she heard those words. She had utmost trust for her new husband, Eric, and there was no holding back. Eric led Emma into the exotic penthouse decorated with beautiful roses and filled with romantic melodies, setting the stage for their sizzling wedding night plans. It was everything she had ever imagined. Emma's heart raced as she thought about her wedding night plans, but her body language exuded nervousness, which Eric could sense. I will have a shower first. You can have all the time to make your decision. There's no pressure. Emma was nervous, but felt grateful for his thoughtfulness. As Eric undressed, Emma couldn't stop admiring Eric's muscular body. She felt a strong pull towards him. She made her decision and stepped into the shower. Are you sure? Absolutely. Eric grabbed Emma's waist passionately and pressed his lips against hers. A romantic current ran through Emma's body. She was completely mesmerized with Eric as she looked into his romantic eyes and felt a sensation that she had never felt before. Eric couldn't wait any longer. He wrapped her in a towel, scooped her in his arms, and carried her to the rose petal-covered bed. Eric pulled Emma closer and pressed himself on top of her. She screamed in pain. I had no idea this was your first time. Are you hurt? Can we please do this another time? Eric was taken aback as he had no idea that it could possibly be her first time. After all, she had dated Nathan, but this came as a shock. Eric stopped as he cared for Emma and made sure that she was comfortable first. Of course. There's no rush. I want you to be really comfortable. I would never hurt you. Saying that, Eric gently caressed Emma. Emma was taken aback by his kindness. She was amazed that the charming billionaire could be so kind and gentle. You are such a good man. You are nothing like the world portrays you. I thought you would be a completely controlling dictator. That's for the world, but this is my true self. And since you are my wife, I want to be myself in front of you. But Emma, if you betray me, I might never forgive you. What a coincidence. I feel the same way. Emma couldn't stop thinking about Eric as their hearts were drawn closer the previous night. But the next day, Emma woke up to the blinding sunlight in the bed all alone. Eric? Emma wondered where Eric had gone. She thought they had shared a magical night, but why did he disappear? Just then, Emma's phone rang. It was Nathan. Why was he calling her? Emma found herself torn. She wondered if she should pick the call or not. Will Emma stand by her ground, or will Nathan's call create a soft spot in her heart? Where did Eric go, leaving Emma alone after their first night? What will happen when Nathan will learn about Emma spending the night with Eric?
Do you want me to answer it for you? No, it's not the right time. Emma was hesitant to pick up the phone, as she wasn't ready to reveal her secret relationship with Eric to Nathan so soon. Eric picked up the phone and handed it to Emma, who put it on speakerphone. Emma, where are you? Just hiding from the reporters. Emma lied through her teeth, but Nathan didn't suspect a thing as he had something else on his mind. You won't believe what Lisa did. Global Entertainment is in crisis, and I want you to help me fix this. Please, save Global's reputation. That meant only one thing for Emma. Another opportunity for Nathan to put the blame on her. But Emma was just tired of this whole business. All right, I am on my way. You have my number. I will be just a call away. Thank you, Mr. Roberts. Ah, <laughs> eh, I am your husband now. Call me something else or I won't let you go. My husband? Saying that, Eric pulled Emma onto his lap. Emma's heart skipped a beat as she couldn't stop blushing. Eric continued to flirt. Let me drop you off at Global's office. Remember your promise. Don't get too close to another man. Emma gave Eric a reassuring smile. Eric drove Emma to the Global's office, but he was concerned for Emma. As the king of entertainment, Eric was aware how destructive the industry could be. And as Emma's new husband, Eric wanted Emma to reclaim her position as a top model and turn the tables on Nathan and Amber. Upon reaching the office, as soon as Emma stepped out of the car, the staff spotted her and began whispering. They were sure that Lisa had been acting in such a way on Emma's order. As soon as Emma entered Nathan's office, Nathan was waiting for her. He was furious, but held back his anger. Tell me, what the hell happened with Lisa? It was your manager who screwed up. If you didn't tell her, then who did? Nathan, we are about to get married. How could I hurt you? Emma pretended to be innocent, but almost choked on her words. But Nathan was having none of it, and he continued to bombard her with accusations. Emma couldn't believe Nathan was the same guy she loved so deeply once. Nothing mattered anymore. She could see through his lies. How do you explain the bracelet on your ankle? You very well know the difference between you and Amber. Your legs! Emma looked back steadily. She had protected Amber so many times before, but she was getting suspicious of Nathan's intentions now. The damage is done, Emma, and Bel Am is suing us for the breach of contract thanks to you and your manager. And you need to fix this. All this while, she thought Nathan did it to promote his own career. But seeing his desperation to protect Amber at her own expense, something was off. I can't have this incident hurt my career. You have to step up and give a public apology that your manager did this, and my company had nothing to do with it. Emma knew by taking responsibility for her manager was the same thing as saying she herself was responsible. Why should I take the fall? Emma decided to finally stand up for herself and not sacrifice her image and career for the sake of Nathan and Amber. Nathan realized what happened and reached out to Emma, but she pushed him away. But Nathan kept on pleading. Please, this one time. I promise you it will never happen again after we're married. Fine! Nathan thought Emma succumbed to his pressure, like always. But this time he didn't know Emma was a changed person. Nathan had planned on marrying Emma so that he could control her easily and make her take the fall for him and Amber again and again. But this time, Emma had enough. You should know that I am doing this for you and your career, Nathan. Nathan had no idea Emma was an unstoppable storm. Lisa, Nathan is using me again. Tell me what to do. Emma and Lisa had a plan all along. A plan to crush Nathan and Amber. As Nathan wanted, she was ready to apologize to the public and the global by taking the blame. But right after that, release the photos of Nathan and Amber to the hospital. I want him exposed. Will Emma go through her plan to crush Nathan? Or will she succumb to pressure? Will Lisa support Emma in front of Nathan? Or does she have evil plans? Will Emma's dream of becoming an international supermodel still be alive? Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.